Okay, so we're waiting for part two. Uh, I should probably have made an intro for part one, but well, yeah, that was kind of bad. Anyway, if you didn't see my last video, you found around here. It's me who installing a water block on the GTX Titan X. Just fast forward, no guy. But okay, today I'll be putting the Titan X in my custom water loop, which is pretty high end. And the CPU is a 6900K. It's 4 GHz, and the cost of water cooling is uh, 2 triple racks and 1 single. And the CPU will be overclocked to 4 GHz, so there's a lot of heat to uh, cool down, but well, let's see how it performs. The TPU is around 29C in idle. Uh, that is really good because I have been getting all day, so the water have a good chance to warm up. But now I will stress test this uh, in Heaven Benchmark 4.0 for around 10 minutes. I'll be applying a little overclock on the Titan. Let's say plus 200 and 500 on the memory. Okay, let's apply. And max settings. And just run. And now let's come back in 10 minutes. Okay, so we have been running around 10 minutes now, and we are sitting around 43 to 44 degrees, which is pretty good, considered with 2.5 because the 2.5, 2050 megahertz overclock and plus 500 on the memory. Uh, that is really good, and max volt, everything. Um, well, to be honest, this is a bit crazy, but it's well with overclocking the cards pulling out 300 watts, so this is uh, really good and uh, well, this is crazy. I don't regret to water cool my Titan because I love the temps with no noise, uh, anything. I could get better cooling if I ramp up the fans, but I don't want to, so. Well, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.